Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to the channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that'll encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today we're gonna discuss my top 10 essential items, my must-have wig items. Some of you know that I've been wearing wigs for a long time, since 2015, so over the course of the years, I've picked up a lot of items, I've tried a lot of different things, and I'm ready to narrow down which ones are my absolute favorites so that y'all can go out and try them out too, because let me tell you it took a lot of guesswork <laughs> but if you're a new wig wearer it doesn't have to take as long that's why I created this video for you all now if you agree with my choices please let me know in the comments if you have other things that I did not mention that you really think wig wearers need to be aware of please please share in the comments because this is a learning community it's not just y'all learning from me I like to learn from y'all as well so the first product that I must talk about my like I would say this is my number one wig product you know, normally I would save this to the end, but they're also sponsoring today's video. So I gotta start with, y'all already know what I'm gonna say, my Simply Styling Silicone Spray. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know I have talked about this spray till I've been blue in the face. Every time I'm like, oh, I've talked about it enough, I'm just like, no, I haven't. <laughs> Because some of y'all still don't know, and that's why I'm here. This silicone spray is heaven sent. Literally has brought back my wigs from the dead, literally. I have a wig that I showcased recently in my 7 Easy Wig Hacks video part 2. Her name is Brisa, all-time favorite wig, but she's discontinued. And I showed how I brought that baby back to life with my spray and a steamer. Honey, she was looking brand new. That's what this spray does. It really helps revitalize your wigs, especially my synthetic wigs. Some of you also asked about human hair, and I'm telling you, it works for human hair as well. It's an all-around joy for me. I absolutely love it. They recently came out with shampoo and conditioner as well, which I've been using in my hair, and I enjoy that as well. It's a tea tree oil shampoo and conditioner. So from what I can tell, Simply Styling is making moves, and it's a black-owned business based out of Texas, and we absolutely love supporting black-owned on this channel. So if you are not familiar with this, or if you've been hearing about it but you've been hesitant, don't hesitate, sis. Please try this spray out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. A lot of you have tried this spray because of my initial video that I did last year, sharing about all the benefits and why I like it so much. If you're one of those people that tried it and loved it, feel free to share your feedback in the comments so that the girls know. Cause we not gatekeeping around here, no more. I've been using this thing for years and I'm surprised I waited so long to start talking about it. But I'm very glad that I did and shout outs to my folks at Simply Stalin. Because they wanna support us, they have provided a $5 code. If you use my name, Gladys, G-W-L-A-D-Y-S, to get $5 off of your order. The link will be in my description box. It'll be in the pinned comment. Check them out. Go check them out on Instagram. We trying to get them on TikTok as well, y'all, okay? <laughs> and make sure you tell them that your girl Gladys sent you. All right, y'all, the next wig product that is an absolute essential in my wig arsenal is the Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush. I first saw this brush because of Miss Naturally Mary on YouTube, right? And the way that baby comb through them them coils them curls them kinks i was like i gotta get my hand on that then i saw my girl Brittany, aka the hearts of cake 90 she had it and i was like absolutely need to grab it so i bought the black one and i've been using it for well over a year now throughout quarantine and it is amazing for my natural hair i've tried other detangling brushes y'all and i've put them all to rest this is it now the issue i have with this brush is that it's been sold out. That's my only issue. It's been sold out for months. I had to hit up the company and be like, yo, when is this coming back in stock? Because every time I talk about it, y'all wanna know where y'all can buy it and it's nowhere to be seen. But they did tell me that it's gonna be available for pre-order. So make sure you look out for that. You can check them out on Instagram. I'm there on TikTok as well. Y'all gotta get this brush because it's made my wash day 10 times easier. I do have good news though. Even though the regular size brush is sold out, the travel brush y'all look at how cute this travel brush is nice small nifty neat and it has the same strong bristles as my original black one so you're not sacrificing on quality here just because it's a little bit smaller which i really appreciate i will say for this type of brush i'll just have to use smaller sections I think, but I'm sure it's gonna do the job exactly the same as my original one. I'm in love with this product, y'all. It's a must have, you gotta get it. Next on my top 10 list of wig products that you absolutely need in your wig arsenal is my CoverGirl Matte Foundation in the shade 
D90 if you're my complexion and my undertone. This foundation is a godsend. You know why? Because it helps blend my lace so seamlessly. Here's the thing, when it comes to lace, most of us have to tint the lace to make it match with our skin tone, right? This is so helpful when it comes to tinting. I think it's it's practically a perfect match every time I use it. Do you see this video right here? Let me tell you something. Do not walk around with ashy lace like this, okay? You see how I apply the foundation? Y'all see that? Look at, look at the difference. Look at the difference between this and this, okay? Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. And you see how the lace is just disappearing. <laughs> You see the before and after, like this is what I'm talking about. So if you are my complexion, definitely consider using a foundation, especially this one, because this has been my holy grail with tinting, especially if I'm just doing like a lace front, I'm not doing like an entire frontal, I prefer to use this. And I like using foundation because it actually penetrates the lace very well. Versus trying to use a powder, it's gonna like sit on top the lace and it's gonna look a little chalky and ashy, you don't want that. Next on my must have list of wig items that belong in your wig arsenal is my Revlon Blow Dryer Brush. If you're an OG, you already know, you've seen me talk about this brush since 2019. I absolutely love it because it gets the job done. You see how this wig was looking before and you see how it was looking after Sensational Alpha Woman? That's because of this brush. This is a heavy hitter. It's been holding me down for a long time. I remember last year it was on sale for like $25 and I quickly had to let my YouTube girls know and y'all snatched it right up because it's just a tried and true device. I love the idea of blow dryer brushes. Once I discovered it, my wash days have never been the same. Like blow drying quickly became one of my favorite things to do. However, I got something to tell y'all, okay? And you know, I'm kind of coming to grips with this. I don't know how to say it. I did talk about it in my other videos recently. You might have caught it, but I think the Revlon blow dry brush has met their match, okay? I think I found a brush that can go head to head with my Revlon blow dry brush. Let me, let me show it to y'all, okay? This <laughs> is my, oh, this is my Infinity Pro, not Doctor, by Con Air. I am falling in love with this brush. <laughs> Don't tell Revlon, but I am. I, I've been, you know, I've been a little low key about it because I've been so loyal to my Revlon brush, but I cannot go on. Like I would be remiss if I did not talk about this in this video. This has the same function as the Revlon brush, right? It blow dries your hair. But here's what I love about it. One, I find myself reaching for this more simply because it's lightweight. Feels lighter in my hand. And you know how sometimes with blow dryer brushes it can feel like a little cumbersome? This doesn't feel that way, you know? And there's one thing I was requesting from Revlon. I was like, oh, can y'all make this like travel size? And this is not travel size per se, but it just feels lighter in my hand compared to my Revlon one. Another cool thing about this one is the fact that it detaches. So let's say that you've been using this for a while and the bristles start to get, you know, mashed up or bent and broken or something like that. Maybe they burn off. I don't know. <laughs> you can detach this. You can clean it very easily in here. Or you can just order a brand new one because on the link you'll see on Amazon, you can order a separate attachment. They have like three or four different ones available. So I really like the versatility with the fact that this is a detachable head. That sold me, honestly. It, it really sold me. And the third thing I noticed about this brush is the fact that the heat comes out throughout the entire brush. With my Revlon brush, it only comes out from the top part. Still gets the job done, don't get me wrong, but I like that the heat is all over the brush so you know i can't oh one more thing y'all fourth thing i checked the price and the revlon brush normally is 38 dollars, right on amazon i just checked the price just now and this brush is 25 dollars. run don't walk <laughs> You know, I'm still using my Revlon brush. Like I used it just the other day with one of my thick, kinky, straight wigs, right? So it's still a thing, 
But, ooh, honey, this is, right now they're neck and neck. Do I want to say this is better? I'm going to let y'all be the judge. Based on what I'm saying right now, if you think this is a better pick, feel free to add it to the cart. Obviously, based on the price alone, I'm sure some of y'all are like, yo, I'm going to pay $25 over $38. I feel you on that, sis. Do you? Because I'm going to do me. <laughs> the next item that is a must-have in my wig arsenal, as well as yours, is this elastic band, specifically with the Velcro, okay? I've bought elastic bands before with no Velcro and you can just like tie it on your head when you are laying your lace because that's the purpose of the band to help melt the lace on your lace front and frontal wigs. But the elastic band, I just like it better. I feel like whenever I was tying the elastics without the Velcro, it would get caught up in the hair sometimes. I mean, I could use a banana clip, but like sometimes I don't know what my banana clip is. You know what I'm saying? I like the Velcro. It gets me right. So I definitely recommend this. Of course, I have it linked in my description box and that goes for everything in this video. Anything that I'm talking about, link to my description box some of y'all know that I am an Amazon affiliate so if you shop directly through my links for some of these items or whatever you shop for on Amazon you are seriously helping your girl out and a lot of y'all do it thank you it means a lot to me but yes back to this velcro it's a must-have if you trying to melt some lace you need this type of velcro in order to get that seamless blend I'm telling you get grab this grab this Okay, my next item, I'm smiling because I'm so excited about this. I recently showed it in my seven easy wig hacks video. The next item that you need for your wig arsenal is a steamer. <laughs> I feel like I'm on an infomercial right now. Am I doing a good job? <laughs> no, but seriously, I know that we use steamers for our clothes, for our curtains, you know, things that just get wrinkled easily. You may even steam your bed sheets, but have you considered steaming your wigs? Think about it, sis. Listen, listen to what I'm saying because I have been steaming my wigs for a while and it makes a big difference, especially when I'm trying to revive a really ratty wig. Like this will bring your joint back to life. And that's what I did in the video for my seven easy wig hacks. I recently bought this newer steamer though because my older steamers, they were cheaper. They were like maybe around the $25 price point, but they will always leak on me and I'm like dripping wet by the time I'm done steaming. Like that's not, mm -mm, I'm not trying to be wet, drying off some clothes or my wigs. Like, <laughs> no. But with this, there was no leakage. I was surprised. And I was like, oh, is that what I had to do? All I had to do was pay more money? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I had to do, and I suggest you do the same. Highly recommend this steamer, another product by Con Air. Con Air needs to sponsor your girl because, honey, I'm filling their products right now. Seriously, I have like three Con Air products on this list. Definitely check out this nifty steamer. It's done wonders for my wigs, and I'm sure it'll do the same for you. Okay, next on my must-haves in my wig arsenal that should be in yours too is my Maybelline pressed powder. This is like an oldie but goodie. Like the YouTube girls, you know, the wig girlies have been using this till the end of time, and I understand why. I'm not sure who decided we had to do the Maybelline Fit Me. I don't know who said that, but I just fell in line with the trend. It lasts forever, and it gets the job done as far as making my parting space look a little bit more natural, and you can see how I do it in so many of my videos. I have a lot of them in my Wig 101 playlist, and you'll see in this video right here how I so seamlessly blend that parting space. This is an older video, my Janet Collection Joad video, one of my first viral videos. Yeah, man, <laughs> you know, I was killing it. Hold on, y'all, this is Editing Gladys. Let me interrupt myself. One of the main reasons why this blended so seamlessly is because of the got to be glue in the black bottle. I don't know how I forgot this because you see how this parting space is laid? That's because of the got to be glue, get it. Next on my list of must-haves in my wig arsenal that you should have in yours too is this. Look at this. This is my angled brush. Do you know how much this brush is? This brush on Amazon? Cheapest thing I ever bought. 98 cent. A dollar. I have three of these in different parts of the house because at any moment I might need it to touch up my lace like you saw earlier. I might need it to add powder to my parting space. I mean, it's just so handy. I also use this for my makeup as well. One thing I love to do sometimes is put like eyeshadow in my tear duct. This is the perfect brush for that. This brush has gotten a lot of use and right now the bristles, look at these bristles. 
Right now, the bristles are definitely a little bit tattered. So that's the only thing, you know, it's gotten a lot of wear and tear. Do you think I should like apply heat to the bristles in order to like straighten it back out? Is that a thing? Do makeup artists do that? Let me know in the comments, but this is a great find and has so many uses. I had to recommend this in the list. Next must have wig item in my wig arsenal that should be in yours too, is my little mini blow dryer. I first saw my girl Sherelle using this and I had to have it. This is like two years ago. So I got this one from Conair. You'll see it linked in my description box. Bought it on Amazon. It's definitely looking a little weathered right now. I need to clean it off, but it's because I get a lot of use out of it. Mainly I use it to flatten down the crown of my wigs because when you're taking wigs out the pack, all of them require some type of customization. Sometimes you'll notice with your synthetic wigs, you might see a lot of humpiness, both synthetic and human hair. Applying heat will help alleviate the humpiness and I like using this blow dryer to do that. So that's why I had to add this to the list because it's so nifty, it's so cute. And I just throw it in my travel bag and be out the door. A lot of y'all know that I do like to travel very regularly, like every month I'm going somewhere. So I always like to have a blow dryer on hand because sometimes if I'm staying at an Airbnb in a hotel, it's not always a guarantee there's a blow dryer there, you know? And sometimes I've had it not work before. And it's just like, you know what? Let me just bring my own so I don't have to rely on anybody else. And it works out for me, so. Definitely pick this one up. I will say though, the only con to this is that this doesn't really have like a cool setting. So I noticed when I was like trying to dry my lace with after using got to be glue, I was like, oh no, it, it like is not, it's like looking a little bit ashy. It's because you need this to be on cool. So yeah, that's a con. Otherwise I like it. Okay, this is number 10, the last item that I would recommend from my wig arsenal that you should have in yours too. Tint spray. The one I've been using is by Ebon New York. This is in the shade Darkest Brown. One thing I appreciate about Ebon is the fact that, or even, Ebon, even, y'all know. I appreciate the fact that when this first came out, there was only like five shades and then they eventually expanded the collection to accommodate darker shades. I really appreciate when companies do that and it didn't take them forever to do it. It didn't take like five years like some of these makeup companies. But that's another story for another day, right? <laughs> they did it within like six months from what I saw. So this is great for my frontal wigs. If I'm trying to dye an entire frontal, my brown color, I like to use this. And then oftentimes I will go in with this to kind of reinforce, make sure the color looks correct. So that's something I realized over time. Like I used to use this strictly by itself, but that was only if I was melting the lace with like a got to be glue afterwards. But if I'm trying to wear it glueless, I realize I need to go in with this afterwards. So that's just something I recognize and I hope that helps y'all out, especially if you are a brown skin baddie like me and you have trouble with tinting your lace, try Ebony New York's and see how it works for you because I feel like it works out pretty well for me, my skin complexion and my undertone. I know I said that was the last item, but I got a little bonus item something that I haven't been using a lot lately because I haven't been wearing frontals like that this year. But come on, in the year 2022, you have to have a hot comb, sis. You gotta have a hot comb, okay? You hear me, right? Please get a hot comb. I will link the one that I have in my description box because the hot comb will just lay the wig right. Especially when you get a wig out the pack and the baby hairs are looking everywhere. And if you're ready to pluck that bad boy, you need to get them hairs out the way. So I think it's great to have a hot comb to push those baby hairs back and you're able to see the hairline properly on your wig and then pluck accordingly. That's just one pro, but you need one, period. Ooh, one more thing, a rat tail comb. Get a rat tail comb. Especially if you're trying to create nice crisp parting spaces, get a rat tail comb. All right, y'all, that's it. That's it for my video. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you check out Simply Styling. Y'all know this is my number one wig item for my wig arsenal. And it seems like a lot of y'all really, really like this product too because I noticed in my Amazon storefront, this remains in my top five products that y'all are buying up and I get it because it's one of those things like you may as well just buy two so you have backup because you're gonna be using this very regularly once you realize what it does. So make sure you check this out on the website, 
simplystylinghair.com. The code is Gladys, $5 off. Thank you, Simply Styling, for supporting your girl. It really means a lot to me. And shout outs to my subscribers for supporting me, for my community, for my audience. Y'all have been so patient. We are back on schedule. Turn out two days back every week. Small Talk Saturday is coming back this week, and I got some things to say. I'm gonna be talking about why I left my nine year teaching career. So please check out the video on Saturday. Make sure your notifications are on. The Jamaica vlog is almost done. It's also dropping this week. Let's get it poppin'. I'm so ready to share this content with you, especially the ones that are outside of hair because your girl got some things to say. And if you wanna see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for rock with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.